Some of you may not know this, but I'm the most popular kid in school. <laughs> now, as a middle schooler, I'm constantly surrounded by people who value popularity more than their education or even their friendships. So, what is popularity? Well, the definition of the word popularity is the state or condition of being liked, admired, or supported by a large amount of people. As you see, the Merriam-Webster dictionary based their definition entirely upon me, and who can blame them? <laughs> now, one thing that's important to know about popularity is that, in fact, while many people think it's good, it's not. And I am here to show you why popularity is bad for you, and why it's not so important to be popular. In fact, I believe that popularity can have a damaging effect on people. And I'm a live example of that statement. <laughs> to examine this issue further, we need to find out what it means to be popular, why kids want to be popular, as well as what are the consequences of this fixed mindset of popularity. So let's begin with, well, why kids want to be popular. Now, of course, it comes to no surprise that kids want to be like me and accept me as their role model. But there are many reasons why kids want to be popular. One of the reasons is self-confidence. After a study made by Rebecca Klein during 2014 about how being popular in middle school may not be good for you, it was proven that kids who have a lower self-confidence on average try to become more popular. Now, I think I'm an exception to this one because my self-confidence is pretty low. It was also recorded that kids who were popular were treated as gods among students. And to examine this issue further, I just wanted to make a graph for you. And uh, I made this graph. It's about how life value versus popularity. As you see, the more popular you grow, well, your life value decreases. So the more popular you are, the least life value you have. As I mentioned earlier, kids were treated as gods when they were popular. And I mean, come on now. The final reason to why kids want to be popular is, of course, friendship. It is widely believed that the more popular you have, the more popular you are, excuse me, the more friends you will have. Now, while that is partially true, it's not fully true. You see, popularity does not earn you friendship, it earns you respect. People fear you rather than being friends with you because you're popular whenever you say something about them, then that means that everybody else will listen to you. So they fear you and they don't want to be bad in front of you. So let's move on. What does it actually mean to be popular? Well. Popularity, just as any other human trait, has many different shapes and sizes. I myself fit all these shapes and sizes. I'm kind of like a blob. Now, one type of popularity is, I'm sure you're, um, I assume you know this, uh, in movies or television series, stereotypically um, a girl, a high school, middle school girl, who's too popular to sit with other kids during lunch, for example. That character was based on me. And I'm not sure if I should take that as a compliment or as an offense. And in there, I'm portrayed as a person who judges people based on how much money they have, how they dress, what they wear, what not personality. In that film or television series, I'm portrayed as a person who picks friends based on things that, well, you shouldn't pick friends on. Now, another type of popularity is the sorry popularity. Not because anybody is sorry, but because they feel pity for you. For some reason, I'm really popular in that one. Especially during math class. And now you may be wondering, well, Stefan, why are you popular? Well, there's many reasons. For example, how much money my family has. My house, as you see. Not to brag or anything, <laughs> but uh, there's many other reasons. For example, I'm amazing at sports, I'm good at math class, I'm basically great in everything. Oh, I can remember my I can remember my lines, and of course, I have a staggering height. Kids come home 
with their necks because they constantly have to look up at me, both literally and metaphorically. So now to my final point. What are the consequences of popularity? Well, from the same study, it was proven that kids who were popular had trouble making allies later in life. They had trouble going in a long-lasting romantic relationship, and they couldn't make friends because all the way uh, in school, they were making friends based on appearance and money. Also, kids were leave depressed. Yes, exactly, actual depression. Because in school, where it's a small environment, they were very popular. Then when they moved out of school into a world with seven and a half billion people, they weren't as popular anymore. That led to being, them to be depressed and had trouble making success later in life. Let's look at an example. Colin McCoken from the Home Alone television series. He's the main character. I mean, he was popular and he turned out great, right? <laughs> but maybe that's not a good example. I mean, he's probably the only one. I can't remember anybody, anybody else who was popular and turned it up like that. <laughs> Ugh. Now, as I stated, now I'll state all my points again to make a conclusion. Popularity does not earn you friends, it earns you respect. It changes your mindset about how you pick people and how you think of people, and it leads to problems later in life. Now, I'll share a quote with you, in which uh, a quote about two friends from the game Undertale, and in the quote, there's two friends who are very popular, but with each other. It goes a little something like this. Uh, you can't hate being popular. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course I'm popular. Yeah, I know. You're popular with me. Oh, thanks, Papyrus. You're popular with me, too. And to finish off, I sent an email to a professional. I won't say his name because he wanted to keep it confidential. And I asked him, is popularity good for you? And this is what he sent me. So, thank you.